Days are longer, which means peak farming season is here for the valley. Planting season is in full swing, as well as hay season. Farmers are taking their equipment on the road every day. These motorized farm vehicles can weigh up to 10 tons and can drive around 30 miles per hour. Local farmers have seen an increase in dangerous driving around them on the road. WHSV's Mike Staley has more. This is one of the busiest times of the year for farmers. Some are growing corn, some are growing soybeans, and some are baling hay. Farmers use the same road as you do when moving around heavy equipment like this, but they feel like people can be more safe around them. The vast majority of the accidents with farm equipment typically do end up with somebody getting seriously injured. And I just don't think it's worth that for somebody, you know, that when you're talking about saving two or three minutes. Farm equipment is commonly transported on roads between fields. This can cause many backups on roads because of the low rate of speeds of the equipment. At those times that when people see the emergency flashing lights, that they really slow down, take their time and slowly approach. Very large piece of equipment that's probably gonna move a little bit slower than what the typical car is. Bradley Dunsmore says, the majority of farming happens within five miles of the home of the farmer and the equipment won't delay your trip by more than a few minutes. Even if you're on a main road that say has a speed limit of 60 miles an hour, most of today's farm equipment's going 25 to 30 miles an hour. Some of it's even going a little faster. So at the very most, somebody's looking at being slowed up for five minutes. Ken Slack with VDOT says, it's better to be safe than sorry when driving around farm equipment. Be patient, share the roadway, and uh, you know don't don't crowd them and come up on their bumper, uh, you know trying to intimidate them into going off the roadway so that you can get to get around them. Working hard for you, Mike Staley, WHSV.